previously on FTL. So Close. One, yeah, two, three, three jumps. Oh, no, no. Oh, can you get to the exit from there? No. What? No, I... I it's going to be in the red zone again. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but it's loving the forest. <laughs> nah, no, no, it'll be in the advance. Oh, wait. No, 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 we'd like... Yeah, I can't get you to it at all. That's what I was saying. Oh, You're no. going into this. You've got to start flying back. You are... No, don't keep going. Oh, no, oh, no. He's, he's dead. Get it. You gotta move him. No, he... <laughs> he was so close to getting it. <laughs> and then just add insult to injury. Okay. The cruiser hit your blowing up ship. Round three. Story. I'm going to put on my dodge even higher. And I'm going to get my guy back to here because I really don't want to eat that missile. Oh, did you get there in time? Oh, I think you got there in time, but I still took the hit. So we're just trying to get his weapons offline because this is a well-armored, oh, sorry, a well-armed enemy because he has both yeah. a burst laser tube and a um, Artemis missile, which is a, it's a pretty rough combination. At least early. Okay, okay, I got this guy. So his weapons are down. I took so out now... this uh, unmanned ship like like a champ. <laughs> that's good. That's good. All right, so I got a border. He's in the doors. Um. Well, so I'm actually gonna ignore him. Um. Or maybe uh, I'll just distract him with my weapons guy. I'll just distract him with my weapons guy. So just so that he won't blow the system up because it's already half dead. Because, um, right now, I want to finish this ship off so that it doesn't fire any more missiles at me. So that's, that's much more important to me than whether or not this guy lives or dies. Yeah. Because you can deal with him exactly. with, when he has no ship to go to. Yeah, and I think I'm going to get this ship now before the Artemis um, recharges. So now I'm sending this injured guy to the med bay, and I'm going to send this guy over here to distract the guy before he blows up my door system. Ooh, and I might have... Okay. I might have mistimed that slightly. So get back in there. Oh yeah, look at that. So I almost took a whole damage from losing a system. Oh, and right. I, I want to try avoid that. So, um, so I kind of towed the line there where this system is almost dead, but not quite. Oh, my and now I can just field. Now I can just rush some crew in there. I can turn my oxygen back on. <laughs> it might be a good idea. I uh, I spent some of my since I since there's no store in sight I spent some uh, scrap on upgrading my power so I can have my shields and my oxygen and my weapons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's always good. Yeah, that's 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 and, good. And, and now I, I, I'm just focusing on keeping their shields down so they can get pelted with rocks. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And if their shields and dodge are down, then they just oh, they're dodging down now. Sweet. They start uh, getting hit every single time. Oh, that was uh, fortunate. And even though it's unmanned, two shields is pretty good against asteroids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, as long as it's not, like, asteroids plus him shooting you. Yeah. Uh, then, you know, you kind of... Oh, you do a civilian ship. Um, so, I got 62 scrap. So, yeah, I should be... But I can't get, I can't get my other weapon going until I have at least 85. Oh. So, I think I'm just going to save for now. And, um, I want to pick up one more nebula, because that'll probably give me an extra jump in this sector. Are you in sector two yet? Um, I think I'm about to. you sector one again? <laughs> I think after this. Is after this attempt this three or attempt four? I, I, three. To be honest, I've lost count. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's three. <laughs> well, the, the video will have the evidence, you know, one way or the other. Uh, so this is bad, because he, um, the bad guy hacked, you know, the one thing that's probably... Your shields, yeah. Uh, the worst thing that he could have hacked. Hey, I got a, I got a new guy. So I'm going to power up my Artemis cannon here, and hopefully try to take out his weapons before he can damage me. I'm going to have Thomas on shields, because, uh... Okay, guys, I Keeping took that me off. alive seems pretty important. <laughs> <laughs> Why so, am I running out of oxygen? I don't know. Probably because you have a hole in your oh, ship where your oxygen have, is. Why off. is it closed? There we go. My doors are just open. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I don't think it's the game that defeats you, Josh. Well, this I, time. I think, I think you defeat yourself. Because now I'm just going to let my oxygen <laughs> come, come back up a bit. 
Uh, so this is the annoying thing about auto ships is they often have uh, really okay. high evades. Okay, now I'm in sector two. It's just super annoying. Yeah, because uh, they, they're always manned, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're always manned and they just, like, the way that the game does it is they often, I don't know, like they're given high levels of, of engines or something. So they often have high dodge and uh, that makes them annoying to take out. But we got their bridge out and we got their shields down. So now... Um, I'm just gonna finish pummeling okay, him. It? Oh. It's gonna be all over. Um, so now I can repower that oxygen again. And then they just like Get passively the repair board. stuff too. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, um, you know, this is a little bit. Um, Thank you, Thomas. He's keeping me alive right now. <laughs> keeping those shields up. Yeah, man. Uh, that's that's frightening. Like you just have to eat like one missile, and then it's gonna be. <laughs> I, I still haven't over. seen a store. There's been no store <laughs> for the for the great ship suicide. I, guess I, I, I think I think when you restart the game, you got to start giving your ships like the SS suicide, the doomed, the USS are, doomed. Okay, that has a lot of options. So hopefully, one of them is a store. <laughs> I'm just recovering my oxygen a little bit here because I oh like, uh, no, I there's like distress. Power. I don't want to go to a distress. I got. I got three pips. Oh, no! This is a really bad random drop for you. <laughs> so, so now you're in serious trouble. What is that? What's the swirl? It's mind control. No! Yeah, hopefully... Oh, he mind controlled your pilot, so now you have a dodge of zero. Oh, no. Have fun with that. I'm dead. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't panic just yet. I, I, I have a breach in my hull. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to panic. Okay, so the really bad thing is... The really bad thing... No, 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 no. You, okay, so here, let me help you, Josh. Yeah. Get your shield guy in the engine room pronto. Repair because that. Because you need to jump away. Yeah. Because when that fire thing hits you, you're going to take one damage, and then you're going to die. Okay, we're charging FTL. We blew up the ship. Oh, I didn't even know what event I just clicked. I have 111 scrap reading. and nowhere to... No! Okay, you know what? I'll use this breach in my hull to vent the oxygen from that room. Yeah, totally. That, <laughs> that's a valid strategy. Okay. But, so, you, so you're so lucky, though, because if that fire was in any system room, <laughs> yeah. you would have taken one point of damage, and then you would have been dead. That's, fu that's a funny way to put it. So lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I ran into a slug ship. It's, okay, it's the fire is out. It's going to be fine. He doesn't have a missile launcher. You have two points of shields. You actually... Hey, 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 don't even shoot him yet. Don't even shoot him. So take take a breather here. Oh, so This he, is a training ship for you. Because he can't get through your shields with only with one e ion. He's got an EMP. Yeah, he's only got one ion. And that's a beam weapon. And beam weapons ha can't yeah, pierce shields. specifically it's the pike one. So there are there are ones that can, but that one can't. So, so you you just got to chill and, and let your guys train. No, I don't know if that's, I like, worth it for these, you if you think these you're going to die soon. And if these two guys repair the hull right well, now. Well, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, fix up your ship and Wait, stuff. Wait, do you just constantly lose health when you have a breach in your hull? No, no, not at all. No, no. Because I have one pip. Yeah, yeah, but that was... You had three, and then I think you ate a two-damage missile oh. launcher that made that breach. Oh, right, yeah. Or, or Sorry, missile, not missile launcher. They, they didn't throw their missile launcher at you. Yeah. Of the airlock. <laughs> that probably could've. would have been the end of me. <laughs> yeah. They just needed to chip in a little bit more damage and you would have been done. Okay. Yeah, so like you just want to chill and train up your but, oh, but you gotta get your guys yeah. They're not training anything unless they're in there. Meanwhile, I'm uh, finishing off yet another <sighs> rebel rigger. You got twenty three fuel. That's good. So I haven't even been to a store yet. So that nine damage up there that you see is like pretty sure the only damage I've taken. Ooh, that'd be nice. Even um, just to have nine health. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'd rather have as much health as I've taken in damage. Uh, okay, so now I can get these two levels of weapon system, and then in theory I could start powering um, my hull laser. Now in practice, that's going to be a little hard for me. I need like um, I would have to turn my engines almost off. It's always worth one point of engines, because that one point there, when you have leveled up guys, gives you 25% evade. So yeah. you're getting rid of 25% of your damage for only one point of power. That's the best deal in the game. Um, but uh, but uh, I would also have to turn off my oxygen just to power my hull laser. But you know what? I'm going to be doing that anyway. Like that's that's 
that's still a good choice for me. So I will be doing that in my next fight. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is one of the ones where you just get a little, it's a shitty amount of scrap, but you get a bit of scrap for free. So I'm so close to getting my next power bar, which is what I really want. Um, and I'm probably going to start jumping up this way. Um, hopefully I can find a store. I haven't been to a store in a long time, and now I can yeah. sell this Herm Hermes launcher. Maybe fix up a bit. I got you're them. still alive. Yeah, I, mean, I got them down to two health. I'm amazed that you're still alive. I'm hoping for one pilot skill and one engine skill. <laughs> so this guy, I could have used this also as a training ship. Yeah. This is a this is a basic laser, so it only shoots one. And this is a heavy laser, which does a lot of damage. One. But it only shoots one. Oh, but this oh, is an ion pulse level. Yeah. So that's yeah. That's these bad. levels are brutal. Oh, so here's a little here's an expert trick 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 for you. Yeah. So he fired before the pulse went off. So you know what I can actually do is I can actually turn my shields off. And will it save it? Um, well, there's still a chance that the shield will take an, an ion. ion damage, but now it's random over all my systems, so it's way better because I might ionize like my oxygen or something, which I don't give a shit. Will it about. attract the shields or? Yeah, yeah. Well, if your shields are up, they always take ion damage first. Okay. So like this is kind of like an expert trick where I like actually intentionally drop my shields, and then as soon as they and then now I can raise them again before um, the pulse takes them out. And meanwhile, he took he took that pulse um, to his shield, so his it, shield yeah. will be out for much longer. A time. laser charger. It just gave me some like advanced weapon. Yeah, yeah. That one saves up like um, uh, three shots, I think. So the only crappy thing is my weapons got badly ionized. Where are these stores? <laughs> So I'm going to pump up my dodge now, because he's this heavy laser charge is very fast, so he's very likely to shoot it before I get a chance to take it out. So that was slightly bad um, I can actually just targeting pay their toll. Oh, yes, oh, a yes. store! But he missed, he missed, so now he is done. Okay, so I'm back in the game. I'm at a store. Let's prepare all. No questions asked. Yeah, well, especially given he had, like, quite a bit of scrap. Uh... This is awesome. I'm. 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 Would you think Laser Charger Two would be worth it? Um. So. So. Uh, like it's a decent. It's a decent weapon because like you get you get four shots for it. Like so basically when it has full power, it just charges up shots. No. 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 It's like each shot takes five seconds and it can hold up to four of them. So when it's fully charged, it's going to fire four times. Oh. Like, but you can fire it before that. Um, okay. For less shots, so it's actually a pretty decent weapon. It's not like one of the greatest, but you know, I Whoa, think about this game. Expensive. Yeah, I think about this game is that when when you randomly get weapons that are decent, it's way better to keep those weapons and work with them than it is to like sell them and like spend a lot of money buying, you know, a slightly better weapon. I right? never. This is new to me. It's an ion weapon that stuns crew. Yes, it's uh, it's okay. Yeah, like. But it also does ion damage. Yeah. I don't know. I w I wouldn't. I would like. Ten like what's, your, what's your weapon load loadout right now, though? Uh, Artemis burst laser. And now oh look, you just through. got the you just got that achievement. Whoa, what? Yeah, For surviving got, with one. You, yeah, yeah. It's one of the hardest <laughs> achievements to get. <laughs> Woo! You, you have to fly a kestrel, and you have to get down to one health, and then you have to repair up to full. Okay. So like you wow, just, that's, I did it. That's exactly what you just did. I got an achievement, everybody. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> so then I'll just upgrade my ship a little. So um, I, because I need at least five weapons to run the charge. Well, I need at least four. What 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 what, what weapons do you have? Like, what's your to, weapon load? Of? Let's talk about it. Let's let's do a strategy moment here. Okay, Artemis is one energy. No, no. Energy. So this thing only takes three. Yeah. So so you um. If I get one more, then I can have that and the missile. Exactly, yeah. So the advantage of a charge laser. So here, here's how you use like a charge laser properly. Is that you wait for it to fully charge up and you fire oh. it. But then, it's like, yeah. but then it's like you can put it on auto fire and then it's firing once every five seconds. So it's like, say you use the charge laser to get their shields down. By shooting it every five seconds is like you can make sure that they never get a chance to repair it. So it's actually like better than it sounds, but it means that your first volley is going to take 20 seconds to charge up. Yeah. Whereas with the burst laser two, you're going to get a three laser volley in a lot less time, like 12 seconds. And that matters too, right? Because the longer it takes you to get your volley off, the more likely it is that your enemy shoots at you first. Yeah. And then they might take out something that screws you up. 
So, so yeah, I think that it, I think that I would do the same thing as what I'm doing, right? Which is that I, I tried to get to level five of weapons so that I could use both my burst laser two and the thing. yeah. So I think that should be your goal. Um, so I gave you, myself an extra power, so right. So you still need another thirty more scrap. Like you need you need yeah. to get that other level. Okay, and for me, I finally because um, your weapons don't stay charged, <laughs> which is weird. What do you mean? You can't just like charge weapons and oh, fire. Oh right? yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so there is an achieve. There is a aug that lets you do that. Oh yeah. Did you know that? No. It's I called the FTL pre igniter. So then it's like your weapons charge while you're jumping through space. Okay. And so then you arrive at the battle like loaded up, and 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 that's one of the things that like, if you already have a good weapons loadout and you get that augment, it's like it's basically like the game's on easy mode. You just like. Looks like the everybody. beacon is a home rebel checkpoint. They're stopping and searching people. Civilians are being harassed, and Federation members detained. The rebels haven't noticed me. Fend for myself. Bribe the rebels to release the civilians. I've never seen this one before. Um, yeah, well, um... Do I want to be a good guy, or do I want to... I, I don't know, I can't tell you. Yeah, I'll help him out. Contact civilian ships. Hey, they gave me 12 scrap back. So, so finding a Zoltan shield ship in an asteroid field is the best place to fight them, because the yeah. asteroids will... You just wait for them to get plinked away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and I'm going to eat that missile to the door. It's one of my... So, what would you think f Mantis Homeworlds versus Abandoned Sector? Okay, well, Abandoned Sector, have you ever played against the Lanius? Oh, the uh, the people that don't need oxygen? The crystal people? Yeah, well, well, don't get them mixed up. So there's the crystal people and there's the Lanius. Oh, okay. So the Lanius are, like, made out of... Cr uh, sorry, the crystal guys are made out of crystal and the Lanius are, like, made out of metal or something. Oh, okay. And, um... Uh, yeah, so, so, <laughs> well, I think the abandoned sector would be more fun, but, uh, <laughs> but I, also, world it is. I also want you to lose, <laughs> so I don't know if you should take my advice. I'm already <laughs> losing. <laughs> wow, this is a wide open sector. Um, okay, so we're looking pretty good here. Um, I think I'll just pick up, oh no, I can't, because I'm in an asteroid field. I was going to pick up another point of power, but I can't. So a door on. subsystem in exchange for some scrap. Yeah, so those those things are like they're usually cheaper than what they would um, yeah normally be. So this is fourteen. Cost. Okay, so I made a little bit of a mistake here, where I was in an asteroid field and I yeah. should have fixed my doors. Oh um, yeah. So now instead, what I'm going to have to do you can't remote. Oh oh your man, this is actually worse than I thought. So this is a lot of borders. So these guys are going to go and fix the doors, and this guy's going to sit in the clone bait for now. So I am going to take a point of damage here because they are likely to finish off those four um, what, do, what do you call that? Four levels of my engine before I get my doors fixed and have a chance to vent the oxygen. But we're going to try. I saved six bucks. So there we go. So I'm, I'm going to vent the whole ship because I only have three guys. And then I'm just going to close up the med bay. Yeah. And um, Whoa, Why is it blinking yellow? What? What's blink? blinking like, orange? But your systems are blinking yellow. Um, I don't know. Well, it's warning me that there's intruders. But so now I forced them into the med bay, and now I'm gonna win this fight. Um, why did I hear a teleport? Oh no, Mantis. Uh, he's about to take up my oxygen. So you you just vent like half your ship and make them come to the med bay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, especially like if your crew is small enough that um they f entirely fit in the med bay. That's like a dominant strategy, right? You'll never lose the fight. Yeah. Um, and especially like like you were saying, so so the main advantage of upgrading things like your med bay to level two and your oxygen to level two isn't really that you're better in fights, although it, you know it helps you a little bit. Uh, it's actually that there's a lot of blue events. So like blue events are ones where you like automatically get scrap. Yeah. Um. So those are pretty huge. So um. But anyway, but it's like if you happen to have a level two med bay, then it's even better because then what you can actually do is you can actually vent the air in the med bay. So it's like you get them into the med bay fighting you, and then you even vent that room. But and it's healing your guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like with a level two med bay, um, it'll be enough to there. still. Heal I made your him guys. run because I uh, before he could get to the center of my ship, I vented the oxygen from there. Exactly. So exactly. He, he ran into suffocation zone. Exactly. Gotcha. Hey, Josh here. Thanks for watching the video. I, I hope you like it. Uh, if you enjoyed it at all, hit the like button because 
that's the fastest way to let us know that uh, you enjoyed what we did and we want to keep making interesting things. Uh, this is kind of an experiment for uh, what we do. We don't really do serious Let's Plays, so it's more of a long play. And why not check out our podcast? PSUJShow.com has all the details. Uh, there's a link on the description. Uh, thanks. <laughs>